the Corn Thicket Podcast with Kyle and Howie, presented by Realtree. You know, what are we going to talk about? Baseball? I'm going to talk about baseball. Oh, are we going right now? Yeah, we're going right now. We're rolling. Oh, welcome back to the Corn Ticket Podcast. This is crazy. We're doing two in two weeks. Look at us go. All right. But uh, we got a friend, Eric, on here today, and we're going to talk a little bit about baseball. We're going to talk some turkey hunting. It's that time of year. How are you guys doing? What are you doing? What's up, Scott? Oh, you know, oh, it's a uh, daughter's birthday today. Very excited. Happy birthday, Hunter. 23 years she's made it here. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting stuff. So, I mean, she just went to school all day, but she happy said birthday, she Hunter. So, yeah. So how you guys got, how the family's going, uh, Eric, we haven't checked in. How are the kids doing, man? Oh, being kids, you know, yeah. running places, sports, baseball. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, baseball's kicking off, right? Oh yeah. Oh, right now. Twice a day. Awesome. <laughs> Twice a day. Yeah. He's playing two different high school ball, then plus his teener league ball. So. Yeah. Lots of running. Yeah. So right now Brock's playing. He's got junior high ball because he's only in eighth grade. He's got LC select, which is travel soccer. And he's got, he made the AAU basketball team. So he's playing three, three sports. Two of them are travel and you know, what travel practices and you know, that stuff. So yeah, the uh, vehicles are just getting the absolute shippy out of them at this point, but what are you going to do? So Stuff to look forward to, Soup. Soup looks frozen. I think, I think we lost him. There he is. Hang on. He's my back. my child's going crazy in the background here. <laughs> She's getting ready to sign you up for sports. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Bring her on here. Come here. So how many days what a week does that involve, about? Scott? Seven. Nine. Really? <laughs> yeah, Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. Imagine. Can soccer say, game. Hey. Hi, Uncle Scott. Hi, Scott. Hi, sweetheart. She can't hear me. Hi. I can't hear. Oh, <laughs> she said, I can't hear. She see the cat on there? He said, hi. See hi. that cat right there? <gasps> what is that? I feel like I'm in a locker room. At, when I do that, I feel like I'm in a locker room at Plant Fitness or something. Like I'm going to get them canceled. What is that? It says, Scott. Hi. Okay. Hey, I love you. <laughs> you have a good day or night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Need to read her that book. Go the to sleep. Bye, dear. All right. How about we start this over again? <laughs> all right. I like that. I don't have any issue with that. What okay. On there? Yeah, that's fine. Well, my it. my internet was cutting out too. I don't. My internet's being shit right now for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, Eric. Like he's got a um. So he's got a, a soccer game tomorrow night after school. Then on. Saturday, he's got two AAU basketball games in the morning, and then an hour after the last one ends, he's got baseball, and it's an hour away. So as soon as that game ends, it's gone. And then he's got AAU basketball again on sat on Sunday, two games on Sunday at least. My so, goodness, yeah, there's just it's all all consuming right now, but you know it's fun. So yep, you know, only can do it one time. Do it all. Yeah, some, someday I'm going to look back and wish I could take him to practice again. Wish I could go watch him play again, you know, so. Exactly. Yep. Uh, idiot dogs are here. So how's uh, how's Callie doing? Can't you hear us, Kyle? You look like you're flustered. No, it's there. cutting in and out. Like my, my internet, it keeps saying up top, like trying to find a stable internet connection. Hmm. What have you been surfing over there? Uh, he's got all the viruses. <laughs> I gave my I gave my computer HIV and herpes all in one day. <laughs> That's funny. That's no, funny. but anyways, I didn't know I didn't hear a word you guys were talking about. So, <laughs> oh, can you hear I heard us AAU? I got yeah. you right now, but I heard okay. AAU a couple times, and that was about it. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're all right. You can you can catch it on the podcast. You can just listen to it on the podcast. Yeah, know. let's let's hope it didn't cut out too bad for me. Anyways, so right now we're getting into baseball season, guys. Uh, spring training's in full swing. Uh, what's the season starts at the end of March, right? There's, two, there's, two, there's, weeks. There's, two weeks. Yeah. So, uh, Eric, you were just talking about before Howie popped on here. Um, how you're watching the uh, what's that? What's that game on right now? 
Oh, it's a spring breakout game. It's the Pirates and the... I'm actually watching it right now, the Pirates and the Orioles. It's uh, all prospects. It's pretty fun. Yeah. And you said you said Skeens, your boy Skeens did uh, pretty good, huh? Yeah, he come in and he come in and swung it a little bit there. It was pretty cool. Yeah, throwing 102 mile an hour, striking everyone out. Is he is he going to get called up this year? You think? Uh, he'll have to. I think he he's not going to start the season, but he'll be up. I I, I guess May or June. Okay. Yeah, and he just got calculations. They'll do the calculations to figure out when they get that year. Oh yeah, it's like 15 yeah. days or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I guess there is that time frame or whatever. So. Which so what is you guys funny expect? Is like just, just it's just funny to me as a Pirates fan, and Eric, you know this. Everyone always freaks out. They hold somebody down, keep him in. Oh, he's not ready. They're lying. Everybody knows they're lying. They're lying because they want to keep him for an extra. They get a whole year. Like you trade like twenty games or something, and you get a whole extra year of a player. Plus, you get that at the end after they're hopefully good, right? Exactly. And it's so funny to me when you listen to Pittsburgh media everyone's like oh they're so cheap oh there's so this there's so that it's like every single team does it i mean what's his name with the with bryant right with the cubs they, that's the famous one yeah. oh yeah yeah and they had all they were throwing money around like like they were the mets of 23 right at the time not quite that much but they still held them down because it's a smart business move you know i mean it, it really is and if you don't like it change change bargaining agreement you yeah know? which they did a little bit yeah, uh, I don't. If you guys remember that in the last one we had here, they changed it to like if you finish in the top two of the rookie of the year, you get awarded a full year service time. Yeah. So oh, I don't okay. know. Yeah. See, I, I don't know much about the whole contracts and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to pay you attention know, to that. But... Team's going to be paying off the voters for rookie of the year. Like, hey. <laughs> 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 That's what I'd do if I was an owner. <laughs> I'd be like, who are the voters here? We're going to keep that guy out. But, yep. uh, so so how's that game going aside from uh, – sorry, my dog's trying to take out all my cords here. Um, how's that game going for uh, for the Pirates aside from that? I see uh, we got our They're, boy back, and he's raking if he can only learn how to slide into home and stay healthy. Oh, my year. gosh. He is, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. he's mishitting home runs. Yeah. Like – Balls that are pop up to shallow outfield, he's setting them out. It's yeah. it's a and thing of beauty. We're talking, of course, about O'Neill Cruz. O'Neill, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Was, we're just sitting there yeah. talking like without saying his name. So <laughs> yeah, I saw I, he hit another one yesterday. Or was yesterday? It yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude's a monster. Just a freak of nature. But he is. At least you guys got something to look forward to. Our team is just. I was going to ask you, how's trash. that going? Yeah. How's, how's the Cardinals? <laughs> Retirement center. <laughs> well, the thing is here, they're going to win 85 games this year, and they might win the division. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I mean if you look at it, arms. the Pirates, I mean, there's probably their only really. I don't know if, you, if the Pirates are even competition this year, but I mean. The the I'm not saying that aren't competition. I'm saying the central is just terrible this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so I mean, I think the, I think the winner of the division is going to have like 85, 86 wins. That's, yeah, definitely so sad. <laughs> it's terrible. So sad. And then the Dodgers are going to have one hundred and thirty seven wins. Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, have and, you let's seen talk the, about that. the new guy? Sorry, go ahead, Eric. Go oh ahead. no, go ahead. I was going to say, you know, when teams like the Dodgers spend, I, I see people online saying, oh, well, this should encourage other teams to spend. I'm like, no, no, it doesn't. Like, like if I'm sitting there as an owner, again, and I would love to be one. Obviously, none of us are ever going to sniff that in our lifetimes. But if I'm sitting there considering spending another $30 million on payroll this year, and then I see somebody spending – 600 million and just stack whatever you know whatever their number is it's absurd right and just stack in the roster with every one they can get i'm like i'm not gonna waste my money on that yeah like what's that 30 million gonna get me to compete with that i have just statistically it doesn't increase my odds to spend that extra 30 grand like i've got to get lucky to beat a team like that at the end of the day. Yep. So I, I, everybody's like, oh, the spending's good for baseball. I'm like, it is trash for baseball, in my opinion. I think it just separates them again from the haves and the have nots. And then it's going to be, 
enjoy some baseball if you like baseball because you're not going to have meaningful baseball for even more and more teams as we go forward past like end of july but sorry that's my rant go ahead eric i didn't mean no to uh, oh yeah no, no i was just going to ask if you'd seen the dodgers new pitcher the uh from japan yamamoto yeah he's not doing so hot well he got he got roughed up but man has he struck a bunch of guys out i think he struck oh, out the he? side yes yesterday or the day before i thought and uh one of the big free agents they signed off this off season. Speaking of the Dodgers, okay. but yeah, say the I last I saw that, the last yeah, I saw that he was, they were talking about on Twitter like he was absolutely terrible. Because yeah, he did, I th- he I think got he gave up. up. Yeah, he gave up some. I'm going to try to pull it up here, but he gave up like six hits in two innings or something like that, and four runs, something oh. crazy. And it's like everybody obviously. I know it's spring training, but everybody yeah, obviously freaking out. And then you got Trevor Bauer, you know, striking out the side on the. <laughs> but he can't strike out. But he can't strike out the guys from like Barstool. You know? <laughs> uh, that so, was the okay, worst I'll, video I ever saw. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I'll admit I have not been following anything. Work has been absolutely kicking my ass. So educate me about this guy. Is it is it speed? Is it heat? Is it junk? What what's he got that makes him so good? Is it just his approach? Yamamoto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got everything. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so it, was came the, from... it was the World Baseball Classic last year that he like stood out, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he... then then he became a hot hot free agent to come over and everybody wanted him and then obviously the Dodgers gave him a huge contract, never pitched in the MLB other than the uh, World Baseball Classic, and he did really good in the World Baseball Classic, and that's when he stood out. And then the Dodgers, and then so his first couple spring training games, he got roughed up a little bit. So obviously, Twitter's like, "Oh, it's terrible. He sucks. He's never going to make it." Meanwhile, I mean, he I'm probably went out it. there and was like, "I'm only going to work on my fourth and fifth pitches." Like, because yeah, spring he probably well, wasn't. Yeah, even, that's what know. spring training is for pitchers a right. lot of the time, right? Yeah. Yeah, Dodgers so I'm looking much, here. They're pay him ten thousand a year, and then the rest is deferred till he's like sixty five. Uh, they doing that same yeah. thing. Uh, I, yeah, I don't so remember how his for... went, but yeah, the Otani his contract was nuts. What's he making? What is it? Three million a year, something like that. Yeah, something insane. <laughs> yeah, something stupid. And what's going to be messed up is Yamamoto. they're going to so his... probably change it so you can't do that anymore. So no one else will be able to have that advantage. So it'll be the Dodgers sitting there in a the catbird seat again with all of that. They'll have done it. And, you know, kudos to them. They gamed the system. They found the hole. They loopholed it. They're going to close that loophole? And if they do, now you've got one team that took advantage of it. How do you, how do you address that? Unless they somehow oh, went back and said, hey, you've got you've to count this against your cap now. You if you were going to do it knowing you're going to have one shot at it and they're going to outlaw it, I mean, they did it for the right guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I can't find – there's no stats on him right now for on ESPN for spring They're training. But anyway. On there? You, We're all excited about skeins out here in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. Remember how nervous we were that they were going to mess that pick up? <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was like, please don't mess this up. Please don't mess this up. But – uh All right, so here's what I want to do right now. We're going to go through all the divisions, and we're going to give our predictions of who's going to – the standings at the end of the year. Okay. Everybody cool with that? Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's start. Let's start with the NL Central. So we got – let's see here. Obviously, we all know the NL Central, but I'm going to read them off in case I do screw them up by chance. So we got Brewers, Cubs, Reds, Pirates, Cardinals. Yep. Howie, go first. Give me your order of what you think the order, the standings will be. You don't have to obviously I'm give records or anything like that. I'm going to be a homer. I'm going to say Pirates win a division. I'm going to say they win a division. Okay. Like uh, All right. I'll go Cardinals. Oh, man. <laughs> Can I have the rest tied? For- <laughs> and then they all tie. They all tie for third. <laughs> they all have sixty wins. Um, uh, I'll give the Brewers, Reds, Cubs. 
Brewers. So you're Red going. Cubs. Yeah. So you're going Pirates, Cardinals, Brewers, Reds, Cubs. Yeah. All right. Eric, go ahead. All right. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go Cubs, Cardinals, mm. Brewers, Pirates, Reds. Ooh. But but I think but. they're all gonna be within like eight ten games of each other. Yeah, I think it'll definitely it's gonna it's definitely gonna be close. I'm gonna go yeah. actually. Mm, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say I'm and I'm not saying this because I'm a fan, but I'm gonna say the Cardinals are gonna win. They're still gonna suck, and I'm gonna hate this season, but they're gonna win. And then they're I'm gonna fine. say the I'm gonna go the Reds next because I think Ellie has a huge year. Oh <laughs> I'm an Ellie fan. I like Ellie. And then I'm gonna say the Pirates and then the Brewers and Cubs. I'm gonna say the Cubs come in last. They did Ooh. make some moves this year though, so I I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but that's my prediction. It's going to be a tight, tight one. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I I agree with you, Eric. It is going to be within 10, 15 games, maybe even closer than that. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to the NL. Let's just go the East. So we got the Braves, Nationals, Mets, Phillies, Marlins. Braves, Nationals, Mets, Phillies, Marlins. Go ahead, Howie. Oh, I'm not going first every time. We're rotating. All right, okay. I'll go first. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, Bra- <laughs> Braves, Phillies, Marlins aren't bad. We've got Washington. Who's the other one? Phillies, Mets. Oh, the Mets. Mets. Yeah. Oh, Mets, yeah. Mets. 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 Nationals. Okay. So Atlanta's going- just too too good. Atlanta's gonna. Yeah, they're gonna run away with it. I'm going yeah. Atlanta to win, obviously. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to say Phillies, Mets, Nationals, Phillies, Net, Phillies, Mets, Nationals, Marlins. I'm going to say Marlins are going to be the, the last in that division. I know you said second, but. Yeah, I, my, mine's exactly the same as Eric's. I, I have no adjustments to that. I'm sitting there like I should have gone first. This <laughs> <laughs> is the same thing. The, yeah. There's no beating the Braves basically in that division. I don't think No, like, it's not even going to be close. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now now let's do a fun one here. Uh, The NL West. So you got the Dodgers, the Padres, Giants, Rockies, and Diamondbacks. You go first, Kyle. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm up. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Sorry. I was looking at you guys. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to pick the Dodgers because I think they're going to like win a shit ton of games this year. And I'm going to hate every second. Like I said, I'm going to hate this season. It's not going to be any fun to watch for me. Um. The Dodgers are going to win. Padres second. And then I'm going to go Diamondbacks third. And then Giants and Rockies, obviously, are going to win like seven games this year. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to – I'm going with my heart instead of my head. And I'm going to just – pray to everything i'm praying right so we're praying to the padres i'm just gonna say they're not gonna win it but for my official prediction we'll go padres something catastrophic happens to the dodgers maybe there's uh maybe there's an earthquake i don't know something happens uh then the dodgers and then the rest is the same right the rest of the way down and and i'll go with giants and last I know you said Rockies and Giants are both going to spend win like seven, and I don't disagree with that. I'm just saying Giants might – they might not even win <laughs> It's going to be a tight race for last. One team's <laughs> yeah. going to win seven games. The other team's going to win eight. Yeah. Well, I guess I You're got – uh, yeah, I've got – I hate that you said wishful thinking the Padres because I hate them just as much as I hate the Dodgers. But I'm, I'm going to go – yeah, <laughs> Dodgers, Padres – well, I'm missing a team. We've got Giants, Rockies. What was the other one? Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. Oh, di- yeah. Arizona, Giants, and definitely the Rockies last. So I think same as that was the same as Kyle's. Well, yeah. I want to hit on Otani for a minute because everybody's like, have you seen everybody, all the Dodger fans are like, oh, I can't wait to hear all the boos on Otani. Nobody is going to boo Otani. No. Like everybody wants Otani to hit. I want Otani to hit 150 home runs. That's right. And have yes. a sub 
sub two ERA and just be the best. But then I want the Dodgers to somehow lose every single game. <laughs> the Dodgers are like they the fans saying that are like those I'd say idiot Chiefs fans, but that's redundant. That that w- went into the <laughs> Super Bowl like, oh, we love being the underdog. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're you've been the underdog so many times, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. just just shut up, right? And it's the same thing. To your point, no one who loves baseball that I've ever met doesn't like Otani. When Otani comes anywhere near my hometown, I am going to see him, and I am taking Brock to see him because I think. He's probably the greatest baseball player we've seen and maybe the greatest baseball player of all time. I, yeah. I think there's a, a strong argument that he's the best baseball player of all time. Everybody talks about, you know, uh, anybody else, but you can't hold anybody's stats to his. You know, when it's strikeouts, it's, it's, just, it's just unbelievable. And going to take him, you know, and no one wants to see him fail. Everybody wants to see him just murder the ball and strike everybody out. That's it. But, yeah, that's all, that's all. Like I said, I want to see him hit 150 home runs and have a yeah. sub two ERA and strike everybody out. And I just, yeah, I want. I, and exactly, if he comes to Bush Stadium, I will be there. I will try to be there. We tried that last year. Me, <laughs> me, oh. and Howie went. <laughs> we went to the car. So Howie came into town last year to turkey hunt, and he was here for what four days, I think. To reap turkeys. Oh, yeah, to reap, don't even start. Reap turkeys <laughs> we're gonna hit on that here <laughs> that's the only way to hunt turkey. that's the only legal way to hunt turkeys in missouri is you have to reap them right. but anyway um, suit this year good <laughs> suit <laughs> but but anyway so how we came into uh missouri last year at the end of april and it happened to be the uh, angels were in town and we got tickets to the game and we're all excited we knew it wasn't going to be the game that he was going to pitch because we couldn't get take. That was the day you f- you drove out. I think was that Wednesday, yep. and he pitched yep. on he pitched on Wednesday, and so we couldn't go to that game. But we're yep. like, oh well, you know, whatever. We'll go to the game before. Well, then we kind of are driving to the stadium, and we're like, you know, he pitches tomorrow. I hope they don't sit him to rest him. And lo and behold, like. 30 minutes before the game, I'm like, we're sitting at the restaurant eating and I pull up my phone. I'm like, he's not in the lineup. And it's like, God dang it. And, and so we, we even went looked there it up. And we looked it up though, remember? We looked it up to see, okay, does he normally play the game before he pitches? And he does. The whole season, he had, the whole season, it was early. Yeah. Up to that point, he had played every day, every game the night before or the day before he, he pitched. And this time they're like, nah, Dittman came the whole way out here. We're not doing that. <laughs> you got that weird conversation. No. And then, weird. yeah. And, and then, one. like, a uh, first inning, you know, the Cardinals, were, like, got beat. Like, I forget the score of the game. It was, like, 9-2 to two at the end of the game. It was a terrible game. With Bush Stadium, I remember looking around. I'm like, this is not this is not yeah. a normal Cardinals game. Like, everybody's just, like – and it was at the already at the end of April. So, like, they had already get, got the shit kicked out of them all month long. And – everybody could see the writing on the wall and it was not going to be a good season. And, you know, it was beautiful it wasn't. The weather was beautiful. Okay. You know, the weather was beautiful and it was just empty. The place was just empty. It was yeah. Sad. And so. like, I mean, we were even looking for hot chicks and there was like no hot chicks walking around. Usually you get the hot <laughs> chicks walking around in the, you know, the Cardinal red. And it's like, all right, that's worth coming here for. They, were, they weren't even there because they were just like, ah, screw this team. This team sucks. We're not even going that. Anyways. Baseball, all right. Baseball has a good, <laughs> baseball usually has a pretty good, uh, yeah. Yeah. Baseball stadiums are, yeah. are good. Good. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> all right. So for the American League, I, we don't need to go through the whole division and rank every single one, but let's go. Well, let's go not? top two. Who do you think that long? Let's go. What? We doing the East first. Yeah, I was going to do the East. Okay. Uh, Eric, you want to go first on this one? Yeah. I'll sure. No one. Yeah, I'll go. Um, I guess I don't know if it's going to be the Yankees because did you hear about Garrett Cole? Yeah. He's uh at least one to two months, but I'll bet you it's going to be the whole season. They're scrambling yeah. for a pitcher and they're, they're a little struggling on pitching, but I'm still going to take them. Um, I'll take Yankees, Rays, 
Oh my! Never, Toronto, Boston. And what's? Oh wait, I'm forgetting Baltimore, huh? Baltimore. Say, you know, where, where are you putting? Oh, yeah, you hold putting on. I gotta, at here. I got to start all <laughs> all over again. Actually, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Baltimore to win the division. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say I was going I was through them in my else. head. No, I'm like, but yeah, I'm gonna take Baltimore to win the division, and then the other four I said: Yankees, Rays, Boston. Yeah, and Blue okay. Jays last. Blue Jays last. I don't okay. believe in the Blue Jays. No? Yeah, but yeah. that'll be that's another tight division too. Yeah, yeah. So I'm actually going. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the Yankees win it. Orioles come in second, and then the Rays, Red Sox, Blue Jays, and the Orioles. Man, I, I just I believe in them, and they're and they're a fun team to watch. Yeah, and I I want them to okay. succeed when they were in the playoffs last year. I wanted them to succeed more than anyone else. Yeah, I, agree. I just Jack and then Jackson Holiday. He'd probably be up this year, right? I think they're talking. He might start opening day with them. They have not okay. sent him back yeah. to minor league camp yet. Yeah, and he's what okay. 19, so, yeah. 20 years old. Yeah, <laughs> so that's going to be. I almost want to buy MLB just so I can watch all the Orioles games this year, <laughs> but wow. I'm excited for the Orioles. I, I think they're going to be kind of my second favorite team to watch, especially being in that division. Like I want them to just beat up on the Yankees and the Red Sox all the time. And right. they've been, because oh, they've been the ones that got the shit kicked out of them for how many years. And now they're finally, they're finally coming back. So it's like a Cinderella ish story. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to go Orioles to win it. Oh man, the Garrett Cole thing has me. Oh, yeah, that's that's tough. I don't even like if if he doesn't come back. I don't even know if they're second, but I'm going to go with the Yankees second. I'm going to go with the Jays third, hmm. and the Rays and the Red Sox blown out like not even remotely close. Like I I think they I think they just completely collapse this year. So. Yeah, I have the Red Sox at the bottom. So we'll have to memorialize. All right, let's move on. Get a thing to track it and bring it up every now and again. (laughs) Yeah, no, we need to uh, we need to go through this and write this down and put a bookmark in this. Maybe we'll maybe we'll we'll write a we'll write a a tweet on the thicket and we'll like pin it or something and list all our predictions and then we'll come back and visit it. How wrong we are at the end of the year. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so the central, I think. Ugh. Central, you got the it's White bad. Sox, Guardians, Tigers, Royals, and Twins. He has. Mm. I was just kind of thinking this is kind of mimics the Central and the uh, <laughs> National League. That's absolutely awful. So, well, there's um, one team that's more awful. There's awfuler. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's definitely. <laughs> yeah. There's one awful. It's definitely team. way. I don't know if there's a team that's going to have a winning record in that division, if that's possible. Right, has that, has that ever happened, I wonder? Is it? I'm, I'm not sure. Does anyone know if that's ever happened? Okay. That's a good one to have somebody go, find out for us and tweet at Corn Thicket if you find it. Yeah, there wow. you go. Howie's yeah. on it. I can see the Google machine yeah, working right now. <laughs> right now. Uh, we need a young Jamie. Young Jamie, pull that right. up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go. I guess it's my turn. So I'm gonna go. Oh boy, this one's. Uh, they all get last. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go White Sox. Gee, many Christmas. No, I'm gonna go. The Guardians win. White Sox second. Twins, Tigers, and the Royals. They might get lucky and win two games this year. <laughs> okay, and so I'll go. All next. the Kansas City Chiefs, all the Kansas City Chiefs fans can cry about how good they are at ba- or at football, and oh, we don't care about baseball. And then when their baseball team is good and their football Tell team is terrible, series, they're like, right? oh, forever royal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I named my son Royal. Uh, so I'm gonna go Twins. Actually, Twin. I think the Twins will win by. I'm thinking like seven games, seven or eight games. Then I'll go Tigers, Guardians, Royals, and then the White Sox again with a collapse bigger than the 
than the Red Sox. I think everything Sox mm. is just going to be terrible this year. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, we're going to all be different here. I'm I'm going to go Cleveland win. I'm going to take the Royals second. Uh, they actually made a bunch of moves Whoa. this off season. They right. they signed a bunch of they signed a bunch of guys. Um, okay. I'm going to go Detroit third. Minnesota, and then we're going to White Sox up the rear because yeah. that's what they like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just going to disclaimer. Go. I know nothing about the AL Central. <laughs> so if my are totally wrong, then that's why. Yeah. All right. All so right. So yeah, this brings up the last one the West. Yeah. The West, you have the Angels, Athletics, Mariners, Rangers, and the Astros. I think Howie, you're up first on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go with the Rangers. I hate the Astros, but I I'm uh, to me they're they're gonna be close, and I'm gonna go with the Rangers. So behind them, give the Astros second, then I'll go uh, Mariners, then the Angels, and then <laughs> winning two games all season, the Athletics. <laughs> So Rangers, Astros, Mariners, the, the Vegas, the yeah. the future Vegas Athletics. Oh, oh, so bad. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Not to go off track. Did you guys see the pictures of the the stadium they want to build? I have. Like, how, how, how does it even work? How does it even work? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it looks like an amphitheater. It does. You know, like the one in, in, uh, in, in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, threw you off. No, no, you're good. So you're up, Eric. Go ahead. Oh, you're okay. Up, All right. We're going to go. I hate to say it. Houston, trash can bangers. And then we'll go <laughs> te- Texas. What have we got? Seattle. I'm missing one. Angels and not the, the, the uh, angels because they're just a hair smidge above the athletics who are just even worse. All right. So, so you were the same as me, other than you had Astros over the Rangers for the top. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I just had those flipped. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you is. guys can see that. Yeah, we can see. Oh that. yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Not wild. <laughs> so, the, so for you guys that are not watching, I'm pulling up the slideshow of the uh, future. Is this actually what they're going to do, or is this just a? Is this just a sure. like a rendition kind of? Because look at that! Look at that freaking video! Look at that video board. It's like wild. It'd be amazing if they did that, though. Honestly, like I'm here for it. Build crazy shit. Like just build the. Crazy it would be pretty shit. freaking cool, yeah. but honest to God, like yeah, so, build, so, I, I was let's watching build something wild. Day, and and this, this, at, this, I'll tie this back into baseball stadiums and stuff. But I was watching a thing the other day. It's like in Ireland where they have all these like uh, these rock igloos that were made by these monks way back when, and they and now we just like tour it. Like they put up all these railings and people just tour it, right? But we don't build anything like that anymore. Everything we build gets torn down, right? There's not we're not building anything super cool that a thousand years from now people are gonna be like, hey, let's go visit that thing. Like people go to Rome and they see all this stuff. I say build that shit. Build it and build it so it lasts. And when it's done, like put a fence around it and let it live there for people like five hundred years from now to be like, Hey, look how they used to play baseball. Look at those idiots. Look what they were doing. They were playing this stupid thing, right? Because they'll be playing on like flying <laughs> or something like that. But no. Yeah, they'll be playing in space somehow. Yeah, yeah. So build it. <laughs> Absolutely build it. Build the wildest shit you can imagine. That'd be awesome. So well, that just anyway. makes me think of like the pyramids of how they built the pyramids and stuff. Like we can't figure that out. Yeah. And if we build know. we, we just... don't even build shit like that anymore. We build stuff, it's like throw away, tear down stuff. Like you know, anyway. You still yeah, when the asteroid when when the asteroid actually hits the world, the pyramids are still gonna be there and all the other stuff is gonna be Dust. Yeah, everything else will fall apart. It'll just be pyramid floating through the through the space. <laughs> <laughs> I've been actually wondering. And, I, I, we're, I don't want to get off track because you still owe us your, your picks for the AOS guy. But I'm wondering, like, with all the crazy yeah. shit that's going on in the world right now, dude. I saw a video today of a dog terrorizing a monkey 
in the street and the monkey was on a bicycle. <laughs> the monkey is trying to get away from the dog. The dog's chasing it around. The dog has a leash. The leash is getting tangled in the wheel because the monkey is riding a bicycle and people are just filming it. And this thing's running and cir- bicycling in circles with the dog chasing. I'm like, I'm wondering. <laughs> so, so I'm wondering, like, if all this crazy stuff that's going on and the way everyone's acting, being crazy, it's almost like someone knows the world's about to end and they're like, screw it. That we know this asteroid's coming, so we're just going to do whatever the hell we want. Not like normal everyday people. I'm just saying, like you know, Biden and Putin and all them. Biden might be the <laughs> he might actually try out for the uh, for the Cardinals this year. He's he's right in there. Ladies and gentlemen, this has nothing to do with the guy wearing a taco shirt. I repeat, <laughs> this has nothing to do with the guy wearing a taco shirt. Well, I'm not suicidal. I'm not suicidal. Let's just say that. Yeah. <laughs> Get right in with their signs this year, at least your Cardinal boys. He's uh, he's right in that eight oh. bracket, hot spot. <laughs> uh, I just love how we got so far off track, and it was you that oh, brought yeah. it up with the Back talk. Yeah, West, AL West, yeah, AL West. This is what's going to hit our right here. A flying taco. Uh, Come on, the flying this. tacos are going to hit. They're going to hit yeah. the world, and yeah. the pyramids are going to yeah. be the Drift only thing off. that survives. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to go to the Rangers. Astros, okay. Rangers, Astros, uh, Mariners, and then I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that a- Athletics are going to be fourth and the Angels fifth this year. They're both going to have – one's going to have five wins, the other one's going to have six, <laughs> yeah. but it's going to be close, and the Athletics are going to squeak one out. Who do we have winning the whole thing? Ooh. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Do we want to do you want to pick the AL winner and the NL winner and then the World Series champion? All right, that's fine. Ooh. That, I'm in. I'm in. Let's do it. All right. Who's first? Eric, you're the guest. <laughs> oh, you're, you're gonna guest. make pick me the AL. all right. Pick the AL and the NL first. The guest, the AL. guest goes first. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be I'll just be Atlanta for the National League. And we're gonna go with a fun team for the American League. We're gonna take Baltimore. Oh, oh like all right, that. all right. Are we doing winners first? Or are we gonna pick this? Yeah, for, we'll pick do, the we'll game the first. And then we'll, we'll go to the World Series after that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go. Hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna say the Rangers again, just because. I don't want the Astros. I don't want the – just basically this is like a feeling of who I don't want and who I'd rather see. So, I mean, obviously I'd rather see the Orioles. I just don't think they have it in them yet this year. So I'm just going to go with the Rangers. And then uh, – don't make me do it. I got to do the Dodgers. I got to <laughs> do the Dodgers. I got to do it. I don't want to. All right, so that's my that's my World Series: Texas Rangers and Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, so I've got I'm going to take the Orioles and the Dodgers. I'll just go right to it: the Orioles and the Dodgers. I don't like it. I like the Orioles part. I hate the Dodgers part. And yeah, that's that's where I'm at. All right, all right. All so right, so we'll go re- you, we'll go reverse have... order. Or I'll I'll, okay. I'll I'll go I'll go. Okay, go ahead. We can. Cause I'll be in the middle again, or I'll just go and start it off. So I'll, I'm gonna say the Rangers, and I'm gonna. This is just this is by heart, not by head. The Rangers are gonna sweep the Dodgers, but Otani's still gonna have sweep like twelve home runs. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. They're gonna sweep them. Otani's still gonna have twelve home runs, and he's gonna pitch one. One amazing game, but then they're going to take him out in like the seventh and then the eighth inning. The Dodgers or the Rangers are just going to go off and win the game. But he's going to pitch zero games because he's not pitching this year. Otani? Mm-hmm. He had Tommy John surgery. Yeah. He could only oh, hit. Oh, shit. I'm an idiot. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. See, this is how much I pay attention to other teams besides the Cardinals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's not going to pitch, but uh, yeah, that's still my prediction. Rangers are going to win in four. All right. 
You're up. Who you want next? All right. Sorry I'll, about that. I had to cough. Yeah, go ahead, Eric. All right. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Baltimore winning it all. They're gonna go six games. Uh, and I like them because they've got a lot of young guys coming up yet. Holiday's gonna be a big part of that. Rutschman and uh Gunnar Henderson. And they also traded for Corbin Burns, and I think that's gonna be a big piece for them in the playoffs. And I think they're gonna take it. I don't hate so that. I so you had them against Atlanta, right? As a reminder. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I've got them against the Dodgers, and every cell of my being wants the Orioles to win. <laughs> but unfortunately, I, I'm I I think it's going to be just us <clears throat> us bitching that rightfully so that the Dodgers are ruining baseball. Um. I'm going to say the Dodgers in five as much as I absolutely despise that. It makes me sick to even say it, but yeah, I'm going to say Dodgers in five over the Orioles. And I don't All like right. it. Best, all. best team yeah. in baseball this year. Who is it? Regular season, best team in baseball. I'm going to go Dodgers, obviously. Hundred and I'm thinking 100 and 119 wins. That's Ooh. like the record, isn't it? Isn't the yeah, record 119? Is it? Oh, is it I thought it was one. I thought it was one seven. I have no idea, but I'm going to say the Mar- it, it was year. the Mariners. I know that. Yeah, I think it was one seven. I'll look it up. <laughs> but that's my. I was just thinking of that, like, because every like Scott said, how he said, every ounce of my being does not want it to happen. But I think they. I think we see it this year. Well, I can't pick them because I had the Padres beating them. <laughs> so I was looking for oh yeah I, I can't do that and be consistent though i could hedge this is where we hedge right <laughs> uh, but the game in second um oof. and that's a tough thing to pick against because you look at their division and they got two at least two complete doormats there too right that they're going to be playing against so that's hmm, that's a lot of games they're going to win just because they walked out on the field uh but in order to Make sure my OCD doesn't flare up by picking a second place team to be the best beating team in baseball in my predictions. I'm going to say um, the Braves, and I'll give them. Whew, they're going to have to win a lot if they're going to be. <laughs> See, this is what I'm going to see. Uh, I'll give them 105. Oof. Yeah. They're not going to make it, but I, I can't pick the Dodgers because I had them second. Good. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the Dodgers too, uh, just because they're, they're too good. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. And I, I know they're due, they're due to win a world series because the one they got doesn't count anyways. That's right. But I oh, couldn't yeah. pick them, but I definitely best regular season. And I can see them, you know, 106, 107. I, I think it's going to be a bunch. I don't think All right, so going to have 105. I just had to give them a number that would somehow put them over. <laughs> Dodgers. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to be more like 97 at most. But uh, anyway, by the way, I did find out um, 1994 AL West, uh, but it's a technicality because it was a strike year. The Rangers led the division at the strike with a 52 and 62 record. So, oh, okay. The, the more you wow. Know. So, 10 games <laughs> under. <laughs> Yeah, games 10 games under. under and one that – What a division What was the rest of the uh, – well, I want to know what the re- record for the rest of the division was. Yeah, I'll bring um, that up. All right. While so while you're looking that up, I'm, I looked up the best season record. So it was the Mariners in 2001. They won 116 games. Okay. And the next best was pre – was the first era before they went to 162 games, and that was by the Cubs, which was also 116 games. So – if they would have won, had 162, they could have won more, I guess. Oh but, yeah. And it says two and 22. The Dodgers won 111, so they came close. Yeah. So 116 is the record, and I say they beat it this year by one with 119. My prediction. All right. So here's the rest. So this was when they had to four. Well, they only had four teams in the AL West at the time. So this was when it was back to unbalanced. Right, the East. 
I'm sorry, the Central and the East had five, and the AL West only had four. Um, the records were the Rangers at 52 and 62, um, Athletics at 51 and 63, Mariners at 49 and 63, and the Angels at 47 and 68. So wow, so they were all kind of right that was there. Tight, five and a half game spread. Yeah, one was one back, one was two back, and one was five and a half back. Yeah, Angels were. Jeez, that's yeah. crazy for that. <laughs> for wow. all being ten games, I mean, more than ten games below five hundred, and NL West almost did. They're it. all the still that fifty-eight and fifty-six. So they they were that same season. They were fifty-eight and fifty-six, and everyone else was under five hundred. So. They were really only one game above, right? Because if they would have lost one more, it would have been 57 and 57. But yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So moving on here. Uh, so uh, turkeys, we're going to reap some turkeys here coming up. How are you coming down yeah. for that? Yeah, I am. I'm coming up. You are for sure. Yep. I'm going to be in Nashville yes. that week. And then I'm flying from Nashville to you. So, by the way, the weekend before that, I'm going to be in Nashville. Conference doesn't start till Monday. So, if you want to swing out there on Friday and Saturday and Sunday, I'll be there. I'm going early because it's Nashville. Because I'm not going to just yeah. go for a conference and not go out and enjoy some live music. So, I'll hit you up about right. that. Uh, but, yeah, I'm definitely yeah, coming out. going to miss, like, I think being gone 10 days, I'm going to miss, honestly, I think I'm going to miss 13 of Brock's games. <laughs> different sports. And all, Jesus. Being, being serious in 10 days it's like yeah gonna miss like 13 games but that's what doubleheader saturdays Good Lord. sundays will do but yeah yeah might even be more than that anyway um yeah so coming out coming i tried out to get eric sure. i tried to get eric to come out this year but he's too scared he doesn't he doesn't want to reap any turkeys with me out here he doesn't he thinks he's gonna get shot or something i guess i don't know oh yeah i don't know what that stuff you guys do out there is but it's <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like my thing. <laughs> it ain't hunting. <laughs> Definitely my thing. I'm not. I'm excited. Oh, you don't have to be a good turkey caller. You just no, but- walk out, squawk a couple times. They come running up. You shoot them in the face, and you walk off. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. funny story is whenever we first started like reaping turkeys, we had the old B Mobile. You know, the B Mobile decoy. I think it was like the first kind of full strutter but it had like the hollow and it was hard plastic. I mean, it was loud as shit. But anyway, right. me and my buddy Lance, who I was going to try to have on sometime, we're going to talk turkey hunting, but um, we, we were, we killed, I don't know how many turkeys. That was the year we went to Tennessee and we killed like between four of us. We killed like seven down there. And then we came up here and we were like, we were tagged out the second week, him and I, and, we just killed like three birds in three days or three birds in two days or something. And there was an outfitter down the road and like they were actually hunting next to one of our spots and we we're out there, you know, roosting turkeys at night and they come talk to us and like, Oh yeah, we're not having any luck. And these are outfitters and these guys come from Louisiana and they're like, Oh yeah, we don't have, we're not having any luck. And like, Oh yeah, we killed one yesterday. And then uh, they told us where they stayed. So we, you know, the next morning we killed one and we went like, show like, you guys do any good? Like, no, we're not doing any good. I'm like, Oh yeah, we got one there. And they're like, how are you guys killing? We're like, Oh, you know, you just, just get behind the freaking decoy and you just, they just run at you. Well, the one guy, the one guy actually thought he's like, so you put it on your head. And so he's like walking around <laughs> the woods with it on his head. I'm like, Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Would not Disclaimer. Recommend don't the woods. put the, <laughs> Yeah. Don't put the decoy on your head. Do not <laughs> put the decoy on your head. <laughs> and don't even do it in the woods. I'm sorry, but like you come walking up over a hill with your friggin' decoy oh, yeah. don't, or with yeah. your fan sticking out in front. Yeah, don't. Don't. Do it in the field. Have if somebody gonna... else watching the whole scenario in case some jackass in a pickup truck rolls up and thinks you're a 240 pound gobbler walking through <laughs> the field. Gets his friggin' <laughs> AR out. Starts yeah anyway yeah, yeah so please. i don't i think they're gonna outlaw reaping turkeys in every state i think some state, well obviously pennsylvania can't do it so i think they're gonna i think they're gonna start outlawing it which i don't hate that i i think it's fun as hell i love it and it's just it's cool as shit when you get one 
two feet from you and you can like feel the right and yeah. you can just feel yeah. them like that close yeah. and you take one yeah. shot and it's like a perfect little bullet hole from all the pellets <laughs> but <laughs> Uh, it's fun as hell and i love it but obviously detail. yes be safe know what you're doing know where you're hunting at don't do it on public ground in the woods in the thick shit right i'm so not condoning thing, getting your face blown off so please do not I've, the one thing i've wanted to do we could try this this year kyle is a oh ghillie suit ghillie suit flat flat with a decoy near me right like probably off to this side and 410 you allowed to use 410 handguns like a 410 pistol like a job i don't know because we were talking about that we were talking about that the other day it depends i guess on what because uh i think the judge is uh isn't it a uh what do you call that revolver yeah yeah or single shot breakdown single <clears throat> shot you would have to have a single shot if you could find a single shot because i think a revolver would be four shells and you can't hold more yeah, than yeah. three so i think that would be the only i have to look into that but i think that would be the only law banning you yeah, from using a four i want to lie flat and have that thing coming into a decoy and then just raise the arm pow, and give it one and i'll <laughs> use a 410 i'll <laughs> do that i'll lift the shotgun up off the ground just freehand it you know break my finger whatever it's worth it it'll be <laughs> awesome so. i'm sure you can i'm sure i'm sure it's possible yeah but i yeah. think that's i've seen videos where they have used 410 judge i think didn't it, Eric, didn't they do that in Florida on spring thunder one time? Do you remember? Oh, I, I know, I know they shot, they shot once they did shoot one last year or two years ago with something weird, but I don't remember exactly what it was. And it was something they had to get real close to it. Yeah. Uh, so the only thing that's like, so I love spring thunder and I love this time of year and they, yeah. they just started, I guess, putting out videos. The only thing that I'm not liking about spring thunder and cold pepper now is, Every single video, they're reaping a turkey. It seems like everyone. It's yep. like every single one, and, and it kind of turned me off last year because yes, you, you obviously if you're making a show and you're putting a video out, I don't know every two days they were putting one out last year, and they went from Florida to New York, like all the states in between. Yeah, and I know they need first. content. I know they need kill, yeah. but I, I, I kind of like I want them to get back to the old style of calling them in. Just seeing seeing a reap after reap after reap, even, and I love the guy and I love watching him. But Waddell, he's kind of got into that kind of thing too, just reaping, reaping, reaping. Right, and right. I know he can call, so I'm, I I want to see you guys call, call, call the freaking turkeys in, guys. <laughs> I agree, hundred percent. I just watched the new Spring Thunder, I think yesterday, and it was a bird they had hung up. They tried calling it in, and it had hens with it, and. Cole Pepper crawled, crawled on the ground, threw up his decoy, and the thing got mad and ran at him, and they shot it. And that, like, that's what I don't like about reaping birds is that part of it. It's like it takes that challenge out of it of playing the game with a, with a gobbler, and instead we just throw up this freaking, oh, here's this gobbler, and come runs right at us, and we'll shoot it in the face. Well, yeah, and it, t it does show you, I mean, how stupid they really are. I mean, they're, they're wary birds. They're, they're, they're skittish and things like that, but they are not smart. Like that no. freaking bird last year got seven steps from me. I, and I, I was, I was facing this way and the bird was over here and it finally got like beside me. And it's like, huh? Like it's looking at me like, oh, it was still confused. I'm like, dude, I weigh 238 pounds. Like, what are you doing? Like, what do you think? And by the way, if you thought I was a gobbler, you're trying to fight a 200 pound gobbler. What, <laughs> what are you doing? Right. Um, but I mean, you, you, you guys have all been there. The difference between, you know, whitetail and t you can, I've literally been in places and seen guys like the blind, the turkeys are in the wrong spot and they're in a field. So they like pick the blind up and walk through the field with the blind. Oh, yeah. I've seen, like, oh yeah, yeah, that's natural, you know, over there picking, picking bugs off the tire tread of your truck. Like, oh, this thing's fine. Don't, don't worry about people being, they're stupid as hell. <laughs> I mean, get them with They peanut. are pretty dumb. They're so just, dumb. They're smart. Yeah. They're just, they're just scared all the when, time. Right? Yeah. I wouldn't say smart. They're just like terrified of every little thing that moves. Yeah. But anyways, all right. I'm I I mean, we're getting 55 minutes into here, so 
Real quick, Kyle, how's your week been? Oh. <laughs> Mine? <laughs> yeah, you had a little uh, checkup. I you want, you want to know about my week? Yeah, yeah. You want to see? Do you want you want me to? Do you want me to talk about it right now? Is there a video? <laughs> well, today <laughs> somewhere there is. I'm sure there is somewhere. <laughs> I got yeah. pictures. You want to see the pictures? <laughs> nope. Nope. All up to yourself. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I uh, actually this is kind of a funny story because on my way home, I had a procedure today. My butthole got watered out, watered out by the doctor today. Um, on the way home, I saw two gobblers out in the field fighting. So I'm like on Onyx, like trying to figure out, but it was in city limits. So I can't do anything yeah. about it, but, but <laughs> wallet out by a doctor in his office through a procedure, <laughs> not like met somewhere. And like, oh, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> That's true. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> you told me on an appointment with a doctor. It could have been off site. I don't know, <laughs> but, uh, it's totally, yeah. totally off the books procedure, by the way. Yeah. So yeah, be safe. Don't walk around in the woods with a turkey headband on and make sure you get your butthole checked out because, you know, <laughs> bad things can happen back there and you got to be safe Amen. all around. So, Amen. Yeah. I am happy to report that the doctor did say he's not worried about anything, didn't see anything shady, didn't find anything. Everything looked normal, which kind of pisses me off because I don't know why I'm having issues. But anyway, that's another story for another day. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not pissed off, but I am. You know how you know how that is. Like when you got yeah, something yeah, yeah. wrong, yeah, you, you kind of want there to be. You want to be yeah, a little yeah. something so you can get it fixed. Right. Obviously, you don't yeah, want exactly. it to go to the extreme. But yeah. I wanted to be like, oh, well, this is all you need to do. Take this pill one time, and you're good. And I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. I'd have done that, but yeah, you know. like everything's fine. And you're like, no, it's not. I'm shitting out yeah. of my ears. Like this isn't <laughs> how it's supposed to work. One hundred percent. <laughs> I want some kind of answer, some direction here. This can't be my life. Oh yeah, been there. Yeah. So Anyways, Eric, all right, Eric, that's so enough for today. What, what did I sign think, up for? By coming on, we're things got weird. Yeah, things got real weird. We got freaking pyramids flying through space and cows on hold. <laughs> Taco cat shirts. Anyways, cat. All, right. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, find us on Facebook, find us on Twitter, find us on YouTube, all of this podcast. Obviously, you're listening to it already, but you can watch it on YouTube. And, oh, we didn't put the last one on Twitter, did we? I forgot to do that. I need to do that because yeah. I forgot we can upload the that. whole thing. To- and by the way, this taco cat shirt, just so everyone knows, is from the Camo Cares Benefiting uh, Golf Outing. This is what we wore last year in central Pennsylvania. They'll probably be putting that together pretty soon. So if anyone likes a very 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 good time for an incredibly good cause um you know hit us up we can get you connected with that uh we'll all get together and golf and uh kyle i don't think you able to come out this year for that again no i am not okay. i am gonna i think we're looking for a fourth yeah. is what we're saying but, are you going um, are you gonna make it are you guys gonna make it oh I, i'd imagine eric we're gonna do that aren't we yeah i'm down for it yeah yeah I know oh are you guys good yeah. I wasn't yeah. sure if you guys, I know we talked about getting a team together, but I wasn't sure if you guys are still going to go through with it or not. Or Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not missing. So what's the, we'll find somebody what's else the, to what's harass the, the park girls. What's Let's the team a good theme this year? This time. Yeah. What, what's that, Kyle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Elijah to stay home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he hit that putt, though. He hit that putt. He did hit that putt. Monster. That putt was, that putt was clutch. <laughs> I was, like, yeah, I was actually so, thinking about that the other day. I was watching golf and I was like, how did Elijah make that putt? <laughs> it killed our momentum because we got backed up right after that. We were on a roll. But anyway, yeah, we're off on yeah, 15. Birdie, minutes. birdie. And then it was a five hour wait to tee off for the next hole. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, hit hit that camo cares up. Um, we need to have Kirk back on here again to talk about that and see what they're up to this year. Yeah. I think the we'll golf tournament is June 1st, June 1st this year. So. First. Yeah, we'll get the Kane brothers on here too. Talk about that. They're maybe yeah. they're listening. Maybe they hung in long enough to hear this part. Canes, reach out. We'll get you on here. Talk about the golf outing and get that even. I don't think we can get anything bigger. I think they're full, but um, you know, we'll, we'll find some room. We'll get some more people there, maybe. So we'll figure it out. I'm sure they can accommodate something. So. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Uh, like I said, find us on Twitter at Corn Thicket, Instagram, Facebook, all the things. Eric, you got anything more? No, thanks for having me on, guys. 
Yep. Thanks for coming. I got one, Howie. one last thing. One last thing. We need people, if you last this long, you last a whole hour, come up with what the loser of our predictions has to do on, uh, I don't know if it's a profile, like it. we can do a Twitter profile pick, we can do something, um, you know, a shirt, whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. But at the end of the season, we're open to suggestions for what for what the loser like has the to shaming. do. Like the shaming. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to figure out like a point system. How do we? For, yeah. I was say, how are we going to determine the loser? But we'll figure that out. We'll, we'll figure that out. We'll, we're all losers. We'll get. We'll listen to this, and I'll make a list of like our predictions, and then we'll tweet it out, and then we'll come up with yeah. some kind of system of how we determine a loser and all that stuff. So, yeah. all right, I got nothing. Howie, you good? Good, good. Peace out, brothers. See ya. See ya. All right. Go. The Peace. Corn Thicket Podcast with Kyle and Howie, presented by Real Tree.